Do I remind you of your younger self? Not really. <laughs> Safety come first, guys. Hi, I'm Jeanette, and I'm here to have a conversation with Julie. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm here to have a conversation with my dad. So tell why are we here? To talk to each other. HT, HT? What's that? <laughs> you have no idea what's HT, HT? No. Heart to heart talk. Oh, I see. <laughs> so now let's back up. We're in for a ride. So today, we are going to play a game. It's called Two Truth, One Lie. You tell me three statements and I guess which is the lie. I was um, in primary school mm -hmm. and then every year Star Wars there's this thing called Top 10. I would take my telephone, you know, house phone and dial, then I would support one person. And that's you. <laughs> and then another one is um, when I was around 15 or 16, I was having a really dark period, like emo, intense. Then I was um, into Japanese cosplay. Okay. Then the next one is, um, I think two, two, three years ago. So there is this Hollywood production. So I went for audition, but I didn't get any role. And now I became like a like a calafair. I didn't say it because I think very Pisces. But now I say it, I feel that like nothing to be Pisces about, right? Everyone starts somewhere. Two to three years ago. Hmm? Two to three years ago. Mm. Hers is more than a statement. It's yeah, like three, three short stories. <laughs> <laughs> the first two sounds like something she would do. She told me before about Holland V. Like you were watching it. Mm. Na, 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 she didn't tell me anything about two to three years ago. Maybe the cosplay. <laughs> it's the truth! I did cosplay before! So when I was much younger, I was very into like um, Japanese anime. Uh -huh. So I really really love Death Note. So I always cosplay as Misa. So which is the lie? The Hollywood one. <laughs> I should have gone with my gut feeling. Exactly! <laughs> Until now, she's still doing it. Comment, okay, sometimes I mean I you and your Halloween. Every year I will make an effort to actually dress up for Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Deep down in my heart, like, I still kind of like like trying out the different makeup and then the costume. Mm. Yeah. You want to do a party? No, cause she won't join me one. That's true. It's not my tete cup of tea. <laughs> She'll just be like, oh, you just send me pictures lah. Yeah. <laughs> you know that after I dress up. The, yeah. the mummy. Wow, next year I end up in hospital. Yeah, no. that's right. It's like very pantang. Yeah. You remember when we film any dramas, as long as we are dead in the coffin or mm. any like tell or whatsoever scene, right? We are, we are given a red ang pao. Yeah. That's that is like an Audrey happen. So if she ever like do like Halloween, she can she can dress up as the breakfast at Tiffany. I can really see her in that. <laughs> I'm serious. But I really like Audrey Hepburn yeah. as well. Yeah, mm. she's one mm. of the few that I really admire too. Then I have her autobiographies. I read her books and mm -hmm. all that. And I have a collection of her old movies as well. Oh, so you watch everything? Yeah. Uh, I try to. <laughs> the part about Julie voting for Jeanette. So Julie shared that with Jeanette actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum will allow you to vote. Like of course, just take of the phone course. and vote. <laughs> the house hey, phone and yeah, then, and, then, and then my father will come to me with the phone bill. So why is it? Oh, this is how I voted. The <laughs> Shita Chui Shou Huan Ning Ni Nui Yi Ren Chang. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I voted. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, because... Is your favourite actress then? Yes. Like she did the Wu Chu Cai Hong. Oh, that, well, that was one of my favourite. And actually that was one of the few show that impact me quite a bit because after that I, I wanted to go to art school because I feel that only being in an art school right I can really unleash and be who I am and that was one of the show that inspired me. So stressful. Why? I should be the one that's stressful. <laughs> My three would be I will always remember every single person that I meet because I think I have to make the effort to. My second one is people always think that I'm very petite and all that. I have never been on any, on any kind of diet before. So my third one is... I can't remember. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> mm. I don't really... 
enjoy acting in real life. So I don't try to act in real life. I think the the remembering every single one, cause sometimes like Appa will remember it for her. <laughs> She will forget, then she will ask Appa, Who is this person? Appa will tell her, Who is this person? <laughs> Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite impossible to yeah, remember it's, every it's single impossible. person. For example, like at events and all that, you meet so many people. Mm. And actually the question that I'm most afraid of when people ask me is like, Do you remember me? I'll be like, Yeah! Yeah, I'm like, really. Yeah, because it's like sometimes you only meet that person once, once and yes. then you're like, do you remember me? And then you're very excited, right? Then you're like, uh. usually it's like, okay, if I recognize that face, but maybe I can't put a uh, put a uh, you know like I'm not very sure like where. Normally she and have the. <laughs> and then, and then Appa will come in, oh, and then, and so that's how like, you know, but sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm quite good. I can keep the conversation going, yes, yes. and then Appa will be like, who's that? Ah? I'm like, uh, actually, I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> actually, I've got another pet peeve, it's like, you know, I hate it when people are tell me, it's like, wow, you show the huh? Because I'm always like, how how big must I be to always yeah. lose weight every single time you see me? When we're in this industry, people have this misconception that we always tired. Yeah. For me, it's more about like exercising, you know, like striking a balance yeah. that at least if I exercise, I can enjoy my food. And it's not like I have to cut down, I cannot eat this, I cannot yeah. eat this. Who has the bigger appetite? Sure. Both of us. Yeah, I think like we eat quite a lot. We really yeah. eat. Like we went, we went to for the night market and we can just eat and eat and eat and eat. I think, I think a very big part like why we get along well is also because like first we love food, and then we don't act with each other in real life. They always say that like in this industry, like it's impossible to have friends or whatsoever. But I don't think that's true. For me, I'm quite transparent. Mm -hmm. You know in in my daily interactions with people. If I like something or I don't like something, it's actually on my face. Yes. <laughs> and it's, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Do I remind you of your younger self? Not really. <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised that both mm. can be like close friends. I mean, you are alike, but yet different. Very different. Yes. Yeah. So that's once I remember I was late for filming because I overslept. Jia is the only one that will come to me. She's like, Mimi, like, no, don't, don't do that again. But you know, other people will be like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. I appreciate the fact that my Jia will come and tell me such things because in this industry, like, not everyone will say Sometimes I will just give Julie pointers, and she accepts it very readily. You see, because it's. I think it works both ways, you know. If if I felt a kind of resistance, I wouldn't have bothered to try or even like want to help anymore because I think that's that's the limit that they can accept and that they don't need your help. If one of you hear someone else talking back about the other person, the I just party. I tell her already though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You will tell the I'll just I will just like I'll no sometimes I will listen first. I want I want to hear what they got to say and then I'll tell her. Yeah. Then you know, this person, wow, this person say this about you, you know. Then my next time, I hear what this person got to say again. I really don't like all the backstabbing and all the gossiping bullshit. Lah. I think it's very childish. And definitely in our line, we always meet people like that. We will always clarify with each, each other. other. And then sometimes we will laugh at it. Yeah. I'll be like, ha ha, these people <laughs> thinking that we won't cross track reference. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm quite. Direct. Straight, straightforward. Yes. In a way, it's not so much to confront to scold that person, but to clear the air. Like, so what's going on? Did I offend you in any way? Did did I do something to you that that warrants this kind of attitude towards me? Yeah. Especially when people are trampling all over you, and then you're like, you're not a doormat. Yeah. And you need to stand up for what you believe in and you need to stand up for your own actions when you, you, you know that you have done nothing wrong to hurt them and yeah. it's just purely work and it's not like personal. Of course, I remember very clearly actually Zia tried to clear the air with the, the other person but the other person just ignored her. Yeah, that's what the person did. And I, and I was just like, what? But if the other person don't want to 
like you know respond or whatsoever, then so be it lah. Yeah, you did your but best. at least I I did my part. Yeah. For me, I think it's tougher. I find fun. I answer to no one. I'm my own boss. I have always wanted more creative freedom. I've always planned to be doing my own stuff since many years ago, and I thought that maybe this is just the right time to do it and to just step out of your comfort zone. And right now, I don't find that. Um, things are more difficult actually because I've been able to choose the kind of projects that interest me and that uh, makes me happy. And I think that being happy is very very important because you're like True. working so hard and then you're just very unhappy going home every single day. Then that's very very sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. When Jazia was in Bangkok, like she was really very happy. When I first met her in Bangkok, like her vibes was like she's very free. You can feel the passion, like and then. That love and everything, it's just, it's just there. I will, I will still take on projects yeah. when maybe the script and the role is interesting. My sister got an upcoming project. Yeah. <laughs> we will start filming in July. So after July, when I finish the project, then I'll go to Tokyo to finish up my pedestry course. And also, I will fly to Tokyo. Yeah. Wow. So we will be actually travel together. First, I have to go there to complete her course. So, so I'll be there will, for three months. Then I will go over there and find her. Even like before she really can fully pursue this, like then when we're filming, like Zetia will bake during her free time, and then she will bring the cakes and all on set. Oh, I love it. Can mm -hmm. plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can I can find investors. Both of you being bosses in your own now. Who is the tougher boss? Probably me. Yeah. Yeah. I think I sometimes I still be like, huh? Mm, okay. Yeah. Cause she has her own uh, cafe now, right? Mm. And there was this time when she was sick, and she said that she's still going down to the cafe to help. And I told her that if you're sick, you shouldn't yeah. even appear there because yeah. it's actually. Not right. Not right. Yeah, yeah because. So Zetia gave me the order to stay home. I said, okay, I'll stay home. I'll... Are you sure? I think I saw you there. You know, with, with social media, there's no secret like, okay, I'm staying home. <laughs> yeah, but if I'm in the kitchen and I'm managing the stuff mm. in the kitchen, I'll be very, okay, very, very, very hard. Sure. If someone come and tell me some sad story, I'll be like, oh, I, I empathize with you, okay? Like, you, know, you just take, take, the lead, take the day off, bye. I, I cannot take nonsense. Yeah. I have very low tolerance for I have what, very what high nonsense. tolerance for nonsense. Just that I always get myself into unnecessary drama. <laughs> not garden I don't think I'm garden right? Am I? Sometimes. <laughs> but I believe in goodness in everyone. That's something that I always believe in. Because sometimes I trust people too easily as well. Mm -hmm. And it's only through these things that you will learn to see and to open your eyes and to actually gain from that experience yeah. because everybody has to go through that themselves. No point telling her you cannot do this, cannot do that until she meets with it herself, you know, and then she experiences it herself, then she will know. Julie is pretty open about her relationship, but we know Jeanette is always hush-hush. What I feel like I have to do because this is me, I'm very, very private and I feel that there's a need to protect my okay. friends and my yeah. family and my private life is my private life. So True. this is a line that I draw very, very clearly for myself. But this is something that I can learn from my sister. So next time when, when y'all ask me questions, y'all are not able to pick out anything so easily anymore. Okay. <laughs> in a way, like I always feel that mm, it's good to be an open book because there's nothing to hide. Right? What, what's there to hide? But later did I know that being an open book actually give you, you, you hand the dagger to people to stab you. Not behind your back, but in your <laughs> face. Maybe for her past relationships, mm. la, you know, it's like when she suddenly break up, you know, like, then you mm. shouldn't be posting so much. <laughs> to be honest, like, how, why would I enter a relationship without thinking that it's going to be a marriage? I mean, that's, that's how I see it, but actually now I learn from all this, but to be honest, no regrets. Just that now I would want to keep all this thing private, so that people can focus more on my work. I mean, yeah, I know my personal life is very interesting, but you know, no need to pry on me. You know, if I want to tell you, I'll just tell you. <laughs> ah, 
it's actually quite painful to be showing like all this wound to the public. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yes, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Yes, we enjoyed the ride. Thank you for setting this car ride so that me and my sister can hit hit mm hit. -hmm. Yes. So now you know what hit hit hit. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll try to remember. So. <laughs> So this is a glimpse of like how we interact. So now we are going to rate the ride. The ride. That's how many stars you want to give. I don't know. Hey, you want to be nice, you just give five stars. Okay. I can hear you. <laughs> so we decided to be nice. Yes. So we are going to rate five stars. Ooh. Can I give 5.5? Five five, ah? Wow, exceeded. Got some bumpy roads. Yeah, but it's like, there's okay. a lot of like harm and everything, yeah. but it's, it's nice, okay. It's nice. Because it's never about the destination, it's about the journey. Wow, so deep. Wow, yeah. So impressed with myself. <laughs>